Dwayne Duggan, Remax Boulder Video Podcast. Uh, today is the end of the quarter of 2018, and we have asked D.B. Wilson to come tell us what's happening. So, D.B., thanks for being here. We're always excited to uh, hear what's happening in the first quarter because it's the new market, right? So it is. It appreciate is. you being here. Tell us what, what's happening. Let's dive right into it. Okay. Well, as you know, we look at uh, 10 different areas um, when we try to figure out what's going on and figure out trends and, and look at what's happening. And those those categories are the total number of active listings, median sales price, average sales price, sales price to list price, days on market, number of expires, number of actual sales, um, months of inventory remaining. When I say remaining, is if nothing came on the market, how, how many months would it take? Right. Uh, to be able to go through that. The percentage of uh, properties on the market that are under contract and then interest rates. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the county, single family first, right? Correct. Fantastic. Once again, our inventory is sliding. Um, It's actually 15% lower than it was a year ago, which was the previous all-time low. So obviously we're, we're setting a new low of all, in all of Boulder County at the end of March, there were 585 homes for sale, of which 57% were under contract. That is a very small number. Uh, to, to give you a kind of a reference point on that, um, in the early 2000s, we had 2,200 on the market. So uh, you can just get a sense of how Quite a comparison. that is. Right. Yeah. The, what's kind of interesting in this uh, quarter, we're, we compare January one through March 31 uh, this year with last year. And we're up average price-wise 15% over a year ago. What's really interesting is at the end of 2017, we we're a very modest amount, maybe 6%. And what we've seen is, is a jump of about 13% year to date from okay. where we were December 31st. And this is heavily influenced by the city of Boulder, which all of a sudden has, has just skyrocketed, quite honestly. But nevertheless, we're seeing gains in all areas, uh, except the mountains. Um, but actually, average is up in the mountains, too. Uh, I should say the median is down um, in the mountains. But we're up in every area fairly substantially for, for, for only a three-month timeline. So that's kind of interesting. We're still seeing 98.5%, something like that, sales price to list price, which is demonstrating the song, the strong seller's market. There's only 2.9 months of inventory available today. Uh, five to seven months of inventory would be considered a stable market. Anything less than five months puts you into the seller uh, seller's market. So we we'll continue on with that. Um, there were 600 sales this year, which is up about 6% over a year ago, which is interesting with the lower inventory. 600 in the first quarter? In the first quarter okay. of single family homes sold. Days on the market is relatively the same as last year. We haven't, we haven't seen a change one way or the other on that. Okay, so the season is kicking off pretty good. So. It is, and to go back to what's going on in the city of Boulder, um, a year ago, we were just under a million for an average sales price. End of March this year, we're at a million two. Okay. So up $200,000 on average. Um, that's a very significant jump in one quarter. And even though there's 600 total sales, I think if I remember right, in the city of Boulder, there was like 122 uh, sales. It's a relatively small number. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens in this next quarter. But we definitely are seeing high demand. And one of my thoughts is, and and be interesting to know what your thoughts are, is, is the interest rate has also jumped from... 3.95% 3.95% at the end of last year, and it's up to 4.44%, according to Freddie Mac, as of the end of March, probably up four and a half right. at this point. But at any rate, those are climbing, and um, sometimes that gets people that have been on the fence to jump into Take the market. Take action, right. Clearly, the last several years, I would say the last five years, the strongest market has been in the first half of the year. There's a lot more buyers out in the marketplace during the first half than in the second half. So, again, we're seeing, we're seeing this um, tight market, lack of inventory, a lot of buyers out there 
we're seeing multiple offers depending on price ranges. So I, I think that's all kind of playing into what we're seeing on the county on the county. Right. Level. And interest rates, obviously, as they go up, like you said, it uh, forces buyers into action, but it also makes it a little tougher on that first time buyer. Not only prices going up, but it makes it that yeah. much tougher for the first time. Yeah. Buyer. And the first time buyers really under the gun in right. several areas. Uh, you know, the, I don't know about you, but I was kind of thought 250000 was an affordable house. Um, Longmont, we've turned to Longmont for first time buyers. Well, their average is four hundred and forty-five right, thousand kind of dollars now, right. <laughs> so it, it's gone up as well. And, and affordability is is really an issue throughout the county. Why don't we dive into uh, our attached dwelling market? And again, this is for the county, yes, Boulder County, for Boulder County. So we are seeing inventory rise slightly uh, when it comes to attached dwelling. Um, we're up to one hundred and eighty-three properties. Uh, also, well over fifty percent of those are under contract. We've seen quite a few uh, it, here in the first quarter, quite a few properties that are brand new construction close, uh, and several of them are in the city of Boulder, which which also brings a, a higher price point. Um, so several million plus condominiums. All of these numbers, like averages up uh, fourteen percent in the county uh, year to date. All of these numbers are kind of a little out of whack, I think because of the city of Boulder at this point with the, the new construction, but we also had a five and a half million dollar closing in a condominium downtown Boulder. Overall, we've got 283 sales year to date, which is up from a year ago of 265, so it's up modestly. But those those things are really influencing this price, and, and I, think that'll, I think that average will come down over the year not because prices are dropping, it's just that this was kind of a, an unusual quarter. Right, skewed um, by that one big sale too. Very much so. Again, we've only got 1.9 months worth of inventory, so very strong seller's market. Sales price to list price is 100%. So, um, I, and I, I would say the bulk of those additional sales are due to some new construction in Superior. They're closing Superior Town Center at this point. Uh, I want to say they've had 20 year to date, um, which, which, believe it or not, makes a huge difference at the county level. Too. That sounds good. And uh, how about interest rates? What's your gut feeling? What's going to happen there? You kind of mentioned they're in the four and a half, four and a quarter I range think, right now. I think what we're seeing is they're going to continue to climb. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it'll get all the way up to five by the end of the year, but I do think it's going to climb. Each time it does go up, uh, it takes buyers out of the marketplace. Um, for affordability purposes, uh, because it does affect their monthly payment. Still, historically, it's an extremely low interest rate. Even if we get to five, it would be at a low interest rate, but nevertheless, it will take people out of the marketplace. It seems like lender flexibility has gotten more flexible as the market gets better. Is that kind of your sense too? Or? Yeah, I think, you know, I think what we saw after the Great Recession was that uh, through Dodd-Frank and other legislation, there were there was some requirements put on lenders that, that really locked it down. And you could be in extremely strong financial shape, but you still might get denied a loan. And I think they've figured that out. And they are coming up with some new programs that nowhere near pre-recession things would thankful, thankfully, but they are starting to to see that maybe they locked it down a little bit too much. Okay. Well, we are in the throes of selling season right now for Boulder, Colorado. It seems like when the leaves pop out and the grass greens up and daylight savings time kicks in is when yeah. the market just grows with that. So it'll be interesting to see how things develop over the next yeah, 30 days. I think the other thing, I think weather plays a part in it. We've had a pretty mild winter overall. Um, and so I think people have to get now. You know, we, we look at showings on a weekly basis here at Remax of Boulder, and even uh, this past weekend when we had bad weather on Friday and Saturday, I could I could see that the showings dropped. Right. <laughs> um, then they came back up yesterday because we had a beautiful day yesterday. So I think overall, I think the mild winter has helped too. Perfect. DB, thanks for being here, keeping us informed on this. Any other last minute thoughts? No. Okay. Best of luck to everybody, though, in the real estate game. <laughs> All right. Dwayne Duggan, Remax of Boulder, video podcast, signing off.